We have a worldwide reputation as a very friendly nation. We welcome one and all with open arms. We ooze conviviality, dispense fine hospitality. Seems no one is immune to our charms. But when it comes to Donald, I'm afraid that's just not true. With a hundred thousand welcomes, but not one of them's for you. We won't be complicit in all you've done and said. So here's a list of places where you could go instead. I know where they'd love to see you. Take a trip to North Korea. Give your buddy Rocket Man a call. When they've quelled that little fracas, you could jet off to Caracas once your puppet leader is installed. Why not call on Vladimir? You're much more welcome there than here. He'd draw up your re-election plan. If you venture to Australia, don't grab any genitalia. The ladies there don't like that in a man. I'm sure you'd be met with a howdy from your friend, the King of Saudi. Catch a quick beheading, grab a beer. You could laugh at human rights laid into those Arabian nights, but Donald, you're not welcome here. You could go to Tel Aviv. It's lovely you won't want to leave. Stroll with Bibi on the tourist trail. Watch his snipers on the hill. Cheer at yet another kill. Or visit all those kids he's put in jail. Perhaps you'd like to take a trip to Scotland. Your mama's birthplace in the great North Sea. When times got tough from Storn away, she sailed to the U.S. of A. Became an economic refugee. So Donald, now you know the score. We don't want you on these shores. Spreading hate and bigotry and fear. Let's get one thing straight, amigo. Our country's too small for your ego. Donald, you're not welcome here.